In this video, I'm going to be going over the solution of problem in English from CoChef January Challenge 2020. So in this problem, the beauty of a stanza is the minimum of uh, the length of the same prefix and the length of the same suffix squared. In fact, uh, the first observation is that you can change the problem from minimum of the uh, minimum of the length of the prefix and the length of the suffix into just the length of the prefix. And the way you do this is you convert all of the words. So for string s, uh, uh, let t be the reverse of s. Then we change s into the string at the a list of pair of characters. The first pair of characters uh, has the first character of s and the first character of t. And the second pair of characters has the second character of s and the second character of t. And do this for all of the characters in s and t. Okay, so for example, let's look at the first test case here. Um, there we have the words world and word. So world, if we use this process, you can change it into this list. And then we can also change word into this list. Now we know that um, we know that the minimum of the length of the same prefix of these two words and the length of the same suffix of these two words. So the minimum of uh, this and this is 1, which is the same as the, the length of the same prefix of these two converted strings, which is 1, because these two strings both share the same first pair. So the length of the same prefix is one. However, the second uh, pair is different. So the length of the, so the length of the prefix is not two, but it's one. You can try this on another set of words. So for example, uh, code becomes and then chef becomes I know that the minimum of the length of the same prefix, the length of the same suffix, is equal to zero for these two words. Which is the same as the length of the same prefix 
for these two converted strings because the first element is already different. All right, so now uh, my code here already has the input written. And now I'm going to convert the strings into the new form I just described. So first, um, instead of storing these as pairs, I'm going to store these as integers. So So instead of creating a list of pairs, I'm creating a list of integers. And then I'm finding the reverse of S. Now I'm going to uh, find, uh, create the pairs. Okay, so this is basically it. And then, since we're de dealing with prefixes of strings, it makes sense for us to use trees to solve this problem. So, I've included a link to Geeks for Geeks article talking about trees if you are unfamiliar with them in the video description below. Anyways, to solve the final problem, uh, we can perform a DFS on the tree and we greedily match the words. So for example, if our tree looks like this, this is the root. And then these uh, nodes with double circles, they're the words. All right, so when we do DFS, um, we should always uh, start, should always start matching from deeper nodes. So during our DFS, we start from here. And for this subtree, we only see one word, so we can't uh, match any nodes. Then our DFS goes here. And again, we can't match any nodes yet. Same thing happens for this node and this node. However, when we get to this node, we have three words in our subtree which are unmatched. So we should just match any of them. So let's say we match these two. And now we have one word which is unmatched, but we don't have another word to match it with, so we just continue. Then we get to the subtree, and it only has one word, so we don't do anything. Then we go to the subtree, and in this subtree, we have two unmatched words, so we should match them. And we do the same thing for this and this, and then we match these together, and then we finish our DFS. So in our code, first we should insert the strings into the tree. So here. And also, um, I need to reset the tree. And 
here I create a structure which is the tree. Store the number of nodes in the tree and the child of each the children of each node. Now I also store the count of uh, how many unmatched nodes there are. And this is just the insert function for a tree and it's pretty standard. After we have inserted all the strings in the tree, now we just um, find the answer. And we do that with the DFS in our tree that I described earlier. So there we have a DFS function. And we start at the root node, which is node 0. And at the root node, the prefix length is 0. So since we go to dprim nodes first, um, we should uh, DFS on the children of u first before we calculate anything at node u. Now when we go to the child, the length of the prefix increases by one, so you add one. But then we shall also we should also uh, add any unmatched nodes from the child to, into u. So we need to add the count. And then we should match the nodes whenever we can. So when the count is greater than or equal to 2, that means we have two nodes in a subtree which are matched, and we should match them. And that basically solves the problem.